So, with the teaser, I think we all came together, Chris Pratt haters and Chris Pratt fans alike, and said he's just simply not Mario. Let's see if the first full official trailer changes our mind. Here we go! I do love Illumination Hotel. Alright. Let's a go. <laughs> Let's a go! Let's fun! To borrow from the White Lotus. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Not sure if you know who I am. Is he dead? But I'm about to rule the world. Wow, uh <laughs> Yay! But there's one Luigi. problem. There's a human. Has a mustache. Just like you. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name? It's Charlie Day. Uh, because I don't. Bowser is coming. Together, we are going to stop that monster. How? Look at us. We're adorable. Oh, I got this. No problem. Ah. Ah. Yes! Ah. Come on, Mario! Our big adventure begins now! Ah, get it off, get it off, get it off! There's a huge universe out there. Whoa. With a lot of galaxies. You know, I don't think this is gonna do well. They're all counting on us. I think the voice cat. Eh, we'll talk about it. Hold on. No pressure. <laughs> Mario Kart is popular. <laughs> Although I just see Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> You know what my biggest problem with it is? It's just the Lego movie in a different skin. I think that's what my issue is. You know, even down to like the girl power female lead. And I'm a big fan of girl power being a girl, uh, but I feel like I've just seen this brand of girl power so much at this point that, you know, I'm like, did we need to do it in this way? It, and also Chris Pratt, of course, is the star of the Lego movie. The only person who's bringing their A-game, in my opinion, is Jack Black as Bowser. He's fantastic. Um, but that's because it doesn't sound like Jack Black is doing something different. Uh, but that's how I feel about it. I mean, I'm not a huge Nintendo fan, um, but I am a big Illumination Entertainment fan. I watch, I watch The Grinch every year. It's the most popular Christmas movie on iTunes every year consistently. I watched it again last night. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. And large, not only thanks to the animation, but also thanks to a really fantastic performance by Benedict Cumberbatch, who, you know, tr voice, voice wise, really transformed himself for the role. And, you know, I feel like even the Mario, even beyond even Chris Pratt, because I don't think it's fair to, to hang this entirely on Chris Pratt. I feel even the animation on Mario just seems very bland. You know, he, he seems like a lead character just simply because we know that that's Mario. He doesn't exude lead character qualities. Also, is he supposed to date this this princess? Because they look like, she looks like totally different. I mean, I guess the animation style on her looks totally different than on him. Uh, I, it just looks to me medium. You know, will I probably see it? Sure, I mean, who's not gonna go see Super Mario? I don't know, would you? Uh, I mean, Universal's very, very, very um, good with their 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 distribution strategy because it's going to take forever for this to hit Peacock, and even then, how many people have Peacock? So you're probably going to see it in theaters or at least uh, get it on digital. But this, you know, what this looks like to me? This looks like a babysitting movie. You know, turn that on, and I think even some discerning children would be like, "What else we got?" So what do you think? Share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.